Now, when he took up the office of the Director of Public Prosecutions, Nudin Haji hoped to change the fortunes of the prosecutor's office that had previously stuttered in securing convictions for graft cases. Now, Haji's choice of private legal counsels to prosecute the high-profile corruption cases may have just injected a renewed sense of confidence in the office of the DPP, as he promised to take on corruption by the horns. NTV Zainab Ismail takes a closer look at Taib Ali Taib, one of Haji's right-hand men, now tasked with prosecuting individuals involved in the Aror and Kimwarer dam scandal. From a Mombasa lawyer, Taib Ali Taib is the face of the DPP's latest high-profile prosecution. In his first public appearance as a special counsel in the case against Treasury Cabinet Secretary Henry Rutich, Taib already had his gloves on. Taib holds a law degree from the University of Nairobi and a diploma from the Kenya School of Law. He was admitted to the bar as an advocate of the High Court of Kenya in 1988 and has practiced law for 31 years. In 2003, he was elected the mayor of Mombasa and served until 2006. His stint in politics came to an end after the government degazetted his nomination as a councillor. In 2016, Taib resurfaced. He was shortlisted among 10 other candidates for the position of the chairperson of the Independent Electoral and Boundaries Commission. To the best of my ability so that I may go down hopefully, on the record, to have rendered my country a service, both for the country's sake and for my own family's sake. He failed to clinch the seat and went on practicing law. Until now, when the DPP, while on a talent search, picked him to join his team of special prosecutors to boost the state of public prosecution and help prosecute complex cases. The other members of the DPP's three-man team include former DPP Philip Murgur and lawyer James Kihara Muridi. They have been described as the DPP's right-hand men. Taib joined the DPP's power team after he successfully won freedom for convicted businessman Faisal Ali Mohammed, who was charged with being in possession of ivory worth 44 million shillings. He had appealed against the 20-year jail term handed to Faisal. Taib Ali Taib took on his first case on Monday involving immediate Treasury Cabinet Secretary Henry Rotich over the Aror and Kimwarer Dam's scam. Since coming into office, Haji has prosecuted a number of high-profile suspects. The case against Deputy Chief Justice Philomena Mwilu even saw him enlist the services of London-based Professor Senior Counsel Hawar Koreshi. Haji hopes this approach will not just be another catch-and-release game but could be the much-needed breakthrough in securing the conviction of graft suspects. Zainabi Smile, NTV.